Hey everyone, in this 365 Ninja tip, I just wanted to talk about the four different built-in ways that Outlook offers you to view your inbox in Office 365. And you see them right here on my screen. All, unread, to me, and flagged. These four views are actually built-in filters that come with the Outlook web app. And you'll default here to your all view. And all is exactly what it sounds like. You see everything in your inbox sorted by date. You have a few other sort methods, but it will start out default you to that sorted by date. So this is where you go if you just want to see everything. And switching to the unread filter is obviously going to show you only the messages you haven't read yet. And right now, I don't have any unread messages, but let me show you what happens when a new message comes in. When a new message comes in, my message that I had most recently selected will stay selected and the new message appears on top of that. I can switch to my unread view and it goes directly to the first unread message. So it'll click right into it, just keep, keep that in mind. One caveat is that I switch back to my all and this message is still counted as unread even though I looked at it in my unread filter, and that might be a little bit confusing at first. In order for that message to be flagged as read, I actually have to click away from it. So I click to my next message, and you can see that that blue color went away. My name isn't bolded there in the new email. And when I switch to unread, it's not there anymore. So unread can be a really nice filter for you if you have a lot of unread messages kind of scattered throughout your inbox. You can go here and only see those unread ones. You don't have to scroll and hunt around for your unread messages, and you don't have to change a sorting view if you prefer your all messages to be sorted in a certain way. So now the to me filter. According to Microsoft, the to me shows all messages where your name appears in the to or the cc line. And at first I thought that would be all emails and I found that a little bit confusing, but now I realize that it excludes emails that are to groups that I'm a part of. So if I'm part of a contact group like marketing at 365ninja.com, those emails come to me, but I would not see emails to that group here because my actual individual email address is not in the two line. Now flagged filters emails that you have flagged and by flagged, I mean you clicked this flag right here. And there's a number of reasons why you might flag an email, and I'll have content about that for you, but for now you can think of flagging as marking for further attention for a variety of reasons. Hope that quick overview helped shed some light on these built-in views and filters in the Outlook web app. Be sure to check back with 365ninja.com for more tips. Thank you.